Hi everyone, this is Nupi from DMB Academy and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make basses like the one in the track Let Me Know by No Concept. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation bass. Also, before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec and many more. Showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So that being said, let's get into the video. So this will be the notes that we will be playing. And now let's jump into Serum. So first thing we want to do, it's lower by two octaves, so we get that sub sound. And for this sound, we're going to use the saw wavetable. Also, let's open the unison so we get some width and lower the detune, otherwise it will feel too wide, as you can hear. Okay, about 12 of detune. So after this, let's do a small filter. We clear that high end on the bass, right? Uh, let's use a MG low 18 so it gets a bit stiffer. And let's see. So let's lower a little bit the cutoff around 200 and add a bit of resonance. Also, let's reduce a little bit the mix so we get some of the, the sound get through and not a completely cut. That way we have some kind of noise underneath, even on the highs. A bit more brilliance in the sound. Okay, another thing, because we don't want the sub to be like um, widening, right? And we want our sub in mono. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace the fundamental from oscillator A and we're going to add a sub in direct out. So that being said, let's go into the edit mode and just remove the fundamental, right? There we go. Now we can close it and let's add a sub. Minus two, so it matches the pitch and let's push the level all the way up. Now, another thing we can notice in the sound is a little bit of side chaining, probably by the mix, right? But it kind of makes the sound itself. So let's kind of replicate that a little bit. So let's draw this side chain and let's match it to the kicks. And now let's assign this to the level of oscillator A. So bring it all the way down and let's assign LFO1 to the level. And we get this. Maybe not that high, a little bit less, about 80. Now, it's still a bit spread the width that we gave with the unison so let's go into global and reduce the width to 50. 
that way we narrow that width, right? Okay. So from here, let's add a, a little bit of movement to the filter. And let's switch it to trigger. One, two. Let's go LFO, a little bit of cutoff. And just a tiny bit, like, like 10 or something. So it doesn't get a bit squeaky when it gets to higher frequencies. Let's modulate the resonance as well, but this time we're going to lower when it gets higher, right? So let's do the same thing about 20 or something. Let's see. Good. Um, as you noticed, let's turn the vo voicing to mono, otherwise the notes will be overlapping. And let's give it a little bit of attack so it doesn't click that initial click that we hear in the, in the beginning. So we're done with oscillator and the filter. Uh, let's go into the effects mode now. So from effects, we want a little bit of distortion. Actually, we want a lot, so let's do about 90. Okay, so from here, of course, now we hear it a bit noisy, but we're going to cut it again with a filter later. But first, let's add a compressor. So let's do a multiband, right? And in this case, I just want the mids, because that's what we're treating. The lows, uh, the sub is getting direct out in the sub oscillator, right? And the highs, we're cutting them. So let's see. Or around 150. Bring the threshold. A little bit lower. Okay. So after this, filter. Bring it up. And let's do again at MG low 18. And this time let's cut it around 1K. And again, let's mix it at 90%. Add a little bit of drive. Oh yeah, the sub wasn't direct out, sorry. Add a little bit more here. Add a faster release. About 40. Let's add a little bit of a reverb for room. Really short decay. I I cut. And let's remove a little bit of high cut, remove the spin and the depth. So the reverb doesn't go around spinning. <laughs> that a little bit of res, well, in this one, no, on over to this one, a bit more resonance. So 
not everything is low, let's get a little bit more of master. And let's try to lower a little bit those mids. A little bit. That's it. Do a little bit of curve on this LFO so it gets a bit more subtle. Actually not subtle, but bit more modulated, not so stiff. Nice. So after the serum, let's just open it. Uh, here we go the free clip, the free clipper. Just thinking about minus three, so let's do minus six, minus six. Plus six, and that way we kind of balance it and remove a little bit of that modulation. And this is it. This was my recreation of the bass from the track Let Me Know from No Concept. So, if you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec and many more. Showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So thanks for watching, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.